guys. Um, no new injury stuff since last time I talked. Was um, anything wrong with Bosa? No, just game yesterday off. Have you guys made the necessary moves to get to 80? Uh, I believe we did. I don't know if we turned it in yet, but um, we'll inform the guys. You have informed the we guys? Have. Can you tell us who? No, I can tell you after. I don't know. I have to announce their names. Uh, you haven't taken uh, three quarterbacks on the 53 very often. It's here. Uh, given the depth of this roster, is it even harder to, to, to imagine how that's going to work? Uh, yeah, it's always hard. Um, but it's something you debate every year. So um, it's something we'll debate this year. Kind of, It's not always just the quarterbacks. It's kind of like you asked us how it plays out with other positions. Yeah, I think this is the last like official training camp-like practice that you're going to have. Are, are you happy with, with – uh, Trey and, and how he went through the summer and was getting a lot of reps say a priority for you and for him? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'd like to get more reps. I'd like to have more of an OTAs. I'd like to have more of a training camp, you know, but um, I mean, you get as much reps as you can possible in enough time. Jason like Poe's been getting reps with the ones. Is that anything to do with Aaron Banks or is that just consciously you want, you've seen something from Poe where you think he could compete for that job? Um, did he end the game? Uh, and I think it's just a practice. Yeah, I mean, Chris rotates those guys in there. I don't watch it like that. What's the plan for Thursday night as far as the starters and how much Trey will play? Um, I haven't decided exactly. I mean, I want them to get out there, definitely the ones. But, um, you know, we're going to talk about it as a staff more tonight uh, after we watch this practice and stuff. I plan on playing those guys. Um, but I haven't exactly decided how much. I know they won't go past the first half. Um, it'll be the first half at the most. Now, did you not trade Garoppolo? There are two you know, gates. Did you plan to release him on August 30th on a roster cut? Or did you keep him to the initial pitch to the roster? I don't know what I'll do that day. But I decide when it comes. <laughs> should all be alive. Have, have you communicated much with him? Have you watched him throw? If you have, how does he look? Any, yeah, I communicate with Jimmy all the time. He looks the same as he always has. He always looks really good. So it looks the exact same. Is it even if we have backup, backup, backup scenario, if someone gets hurt, then could he be on this team? I mean, I think any scenario is possible. see him execute a job as well as he can. Get the team in and out of the huddle right, um, call the plays right, get the ball to the right spot. When he can't get it there, make sure he doesn't have a turnover, possibly mix a play, um, but just play the position right away. How kind of cameras Jeff Wilson had? Did you notice uh, just being another year removed from that just you know, some scoring back or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, Jeff last year was so unfortunate for him getting hurt um, in the locker room in OTAs. And, so he didn't get any um, off-season OTAs, and he didn't get any training camp, um, and he got healthy, you know, about a week before we needed him in game. So Jeff last year played off to me all heart um, and helped us when he came in, and um, just this year he's healthy. So to me, he's back to um, getting Jeff Wilson the ball we've seen. And uh, Hasty looks like I don't know, he looks better than than he has. What what is he showing you this training camp? Um, Hasty's been solid. I mean, he's he's made our he's been solid since he's been here. That's why he's made some big plays in games, whether it's in the pass game, run game. He's always tough on special teams and protection, and uh, he's done a good job. And um, guys who are like that, who now I think this is his third year with us, I mean, he does keep getting better, and that'll continue to happen with him. That route that he ran for the touchdown, does he do that better than any of the other backs? Um, yeah, probably. Uh, Wilson does it pretty well too, right? Uh, yeah. Probably, yeah, Jeff would be pretty offended. Jeff hasn't gotten any of those lately, but Jeff is extremely good at it too. And that's what Trey Sermon can do. And the other guys have the skill set to do it. They just need more practice at it. Does Elijah see him on schedule for week one? Or uh, yeah, he does see him on schedule. You know, we won't get him this week, but things are looking to have him back for week one. How important is Mike Lynch? He's kind of given a set time off when he can return. What is his status? Is there a chance he could? Um, I mean, I think there's a chance because they haven't told me 100% for sure, but I mean, they're pretty optimistic.
optimistic about it. You know, when you know we took it real slow with them, and then he had that setback in the game. Um, that was, you know, it wasn't the exact same injury, but it was still on the same leg. Um, so we wanted to take it slow with them. Uh, we rested them last week. We're going to rest them this week, and we'll ramp them up next week and see how the pain tolerance is. We think of it as you know, training camp because we have a team of guys. Is it the yeah, training camp in your mind? You go into a different mode, What's especially that? starting next game, starting after this game. Um, I, I kind of been there for a while. You know, every, everything is about to me. The I mean, I'm always trying to think of our team. Um, you know, who are going to be those guys who are in uniform in week one? Who are going to be those guys who are competing to be in uniform? Who are going to be those practice squad guys? Who's going to have to step up and be ready for that role if you lose someone in the next ten days? And that's really every thought process that that I personally have. Um, just looking forward for the whole team. Um, you got a lot of guys fighting for the final spots. You got a lot of guys fighting for practice squad, and those things will take care of themselves in the next couple of days. Um, but besides that, everything's to me been about the season. Now, who said generally is just like the depth chart by now? Like I know there obviously could be changes, but in your mind, the coaching staff is the depth chart pretty well settled. Uh, I mean, you have a good idea, but there's you know there's six different variables based off of. You know, just two guys going against each other that might be at different positions. And so, yeah, that might be it's all settled but two, but if you decide to go one position over the other, then that might change six other positions. Um, so you got an idea of your best 53. Um, you got an idea of your, um, you know, you got an idea of 16 practice guys, squad guys you want to add. Um, but at the end, it's so close and it's, it's different positions. So where are we going to go heavy? Where are we going to go light? And, you know, we just had a game a few days ago. We've got to play another game here um, in two days. What can happen in that game? No, that can change stuff. So um, you got an idea, but um, there's still so much more communication you need and to go through so many scenarios because it changes every single day. And that's kind of what happens once the season starts, too. You've only had Gibson for a little bit, but do you see him as playing in this game, or do you see him as an option if Jimmy can't go early in the season? To oh, we hope he'll be one. Um, but, you know, we just got him in yesterday where he got a little practice. He got more today, so it'll be fun to watch him on the tape. And um, hopefully he'll be in a good enough spot to put him in the game so we get some game tape on. Kyle, I realize that Ambry Thomas has been kind of banged up, but it doesn't seem like he's kind of taken that next step like maybe the Elmador Lenore has this training camp. What's, what is Ambry's situation, and would you like to see more from him? I just want to see them battle to make the team. Um, I mean, the same with Demo, the same with all those guys. I mean, after um, you know, our starting two guys, we got some guys really competing, and that, that could go anyway. Um, I know Ambry wants to get out there and compete, but unfortunately he hasn't been healthy. He can try this. Tried as hard as he could to go last week. He definitely couldn't. And that's pretty obvious because he hasn't been able to go this week, too. So he'll hold out hope, hold out hope that he can get a chance for Houston. Um, but unfortunately, he's been hurt right now. Uh, I don't think I'm pulling you out of context, but you recently said, you know, Trey, how he performs isn't going to make or break this season. What did you say again? That Trey Lance, how he performs isn't going to make or break this season. Um, and obviously, NFL quarterbacks are very influential. Why do you feel that way? Um, I felt that way about, I felt that way five years in a row here. You know, I mean, it's, you, know, you definitely won. It's always tough when you lose your starting quarterback, which, you know, we've had to do, I think, three of the years. Um, that's hard to overcome. Um, but I never um, picture our quarterback being the exact reason why we're going to win or lose. Um, if you can stay healthy there and you have the right team, stay healthy in other spots, then I don't think it does come down to that. Um, if you do struggle in some areas and you get a lot of guys hurt in some areas and you got to put all that pressure on that position, um, then yeah, it does, just like it does with every team. And usually when it comes down to just the quarterback, um, usually that's tough for most teams. All right, guys, appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.